Hi, I'm Corey Barker, and I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about the new Photoshop.com mobile application for the new Android smartphone, giving you the ability to use Adobe Photoshop to edit, save, and share your photos right on your mobile device. Let's take a look. So once the application launches, you'll notice on screen, at the very top of your screen, you've got two buttons, one for phone and one for online. Now we'll talk about online in just a moment, but for now, let's take a look at the phone section. When this is activated, you'll notice it loads a gallery of images, and these are the photos that are located locally on your phone. So let's take a look at this first photo here. Once I've selected a photo, you'll notice that it filled the screen with that image. However, if you wanted to see more of it, you can also turn the device, and it will put the photo in landscape mode automatically. You can also scroll through your images when you're in this mode by simply going and just dragging your finger across the screen and will scroll to the next image in the gallery. You can also tap the arrows at the bottom to go forward in the gallery or hit the back arrow and it will go backwards in the gallery, bringing you back to the beginning. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll notice you have two buttons. You have one for edit and one for upload. And we'll talk about upload in just a minute when we talk about the online features, but let's take a look at edit. There are two ways to bring your photo into edit mode. Now the first way is if you tap on that edit button, it allows you to go into the gallery and simply tap on the photo that you want to edit, and it will bring it into edit mode, revealing all the editing features. That's one way. Another way is if you're inside of the gallery and you tap on a photo, and it brings it into full mode, as I mentioned a moment ago, you can scroll through, simply tap the menu button, and it will bring up a number of features here. First one is the upload. Again, we'll talk about that in a moment. Edit photo. You can even delete this photo, set it as a wallpaper right here on your phone, or run a slideshow. As we want to do here, we want to edit this photo, so, so we'll simply tap Edit Photo, and it brings us into that same edit mode. So once you're in edit mode, you'll notice at the top of the screen you've got three buttons. The first one is your cropping features, second one is your image editing and color effects, and the third one is your special effects. But let's take a look at right inside here at the crop feature. I can choose to crop, straighten, or rotate, or even flip this image. Well, in this case, I want to go ahead and crop it, so I'm going to select Crop, and what it's going to do is put a crop frame around my photo, and I can interactively go in here and resize the crop window just by grabbing any of the corner handles and repositioning them. So once I've got the crop window in position, if I decide I don't want to crop this image, you can simply tap this red X at the bottom. It will bring you back to the original state, allowing you to apply further edits. In this case, however, I do want to go ahead and save this crop, so I'm just going to tap the green check mark. So once you've made the change and the photo is now back in the main edit window, you've got some options down here at the bottom. Now, the first one is basically a cancel all. If you've made some changes to this photo and you just want to go back to the original gallery without saving any changes, tap that red X and it will bring you back. Now, the second button, this red curved arrow, is basically an undo. So let's say I've, I've applied this crop and I see how it looks when it's bigger in screen. I don't necessarily like it. Just simply tap that and it will undo that change and it will bring you back to that crop state. Now, if you do the undo and you decide Yes, I do want to keep that change. I've decided I like the crop after all. Simply tap the green curved arrow and it will reapply the last crop you just made or the last change you just made. So if I decide now I want to save these changes permanently, simply tap the button on the far right at the bottom and it will save it to your phone's image gallery. So now that we've gone through the steps of applying an edit, I just want to briefly mention all the other editing features that are available to you inside this application. If we go back inside that crop tool, you'll notice we have not only crop, but straighten, rotate, and flip. To select one, you just tap on it, and you can interactively adjust each one of these features by just moving your finger on screen, adjusting the photo to where you want it to be, and then you can simply commit the change. The next button is, of course, the image correction and color effects. And what you do with these is you simply just go down the menu, tap on the feature you want to apply, and then again, you can interactively move your finger on screen to increase or decrease the effectiveness of that correction. Except for black and white. When you select black and white, it just simply converts your image to a black and white photo, and you don't have to do any other correction. Now the third button is the soft focus. Again, you tap on this, and you can interactively slide your finger across the screen to determine how much of the soft focus effect you want to apply. And again, like any other change, when you make an edit, simply tap the green arrow, and it will save the change. So now that I've made the changes I want on this particular photo, I'm going to go ahead and save them and go back to the main gallery. So once you've edited and saved the photo, you can now upload it to your Photoshop.com account. Now the cool thing about the Photoshop.com mobile application is that you can connect online and upload your photos directly to your Photoshop.com account, essentially providing a backup for your photos locally on your phone. And this is easy because you can now share and access your photos both on your phone and on your PC anywhere you have an internet connection. So let's take a look at uploading a photo. 
All right, so we're still in the phone section of my application here, but let's say I wanted to upload some photos from my phone onto the Photoshop.com account. We're gonna go in here into this phone section, and you'll remember those buttons I mentioned earlier at the bottom, we have edit and upload. We're gonna tap on the upload button, and what it's gonna do is allow me to go into this gallery and tap on the images I want to upload to my account. And you'll notice it applies a little blue check mark on those photos. But however, if you accidentally tap on a photo you do not want to add to that gallery, simply tap on it a second time and it will deselect that photo. If I've got the photo selected I want to upload, go down here to the very bottom and simply tap continue. So it'll bring you into this next window where you have the option of adding a description to the photo. Once you've done all that, you simply tap the upload button and it will upload it to your Photoshop.com account online. So another interesting thing when you're uploading photos is that this particular phone has a really cool feature called background processing, allowing you to upload photos even when you're not necessarily using the application. You could still be going and edit more photos or do something else on your phone and it will continue to upload the photos until it's done. Now, I showed you one way of uploading a photo, I wanna show you another way. When you're inside your phone editing your certain photos and you've got it in full screen, what you can do is tap the menu button and it will bring up those options that I showed you earlier, but you also have the option of upload. You simply tap that first button and it will bring you back to that window where you can have the option of adding a description, then simply tap upload and it uploads it to your Photoshop.com account. All right, so up till now we've, we've edited and saved and even uploaded our photos, but where do they go? Well, if you remember earlier, I talked about the online button here at the very top of my interface. Well, if you simply tap that, what it's gonna do is open up your galleries that are accessible online on your Photoshop.com account. So you can see it's got a list of them you can scroll through with your finger. Once you see one you wanna take a look at, simply tap it and it's gonna open up that gallery of photos. And you'll notice you can scroll through here and it's just like the local gallery on your phone. You can scroll through it, tap on it and fill it full screen. However, you also have the option of emailing these photos and you can do it two ways. You can email the entire album of photos. Notice down here at the very bottom, we've got an email album button. Simply tap on that and a window's gonna pop up. You can input an email address, input a message, and it will send that gallery on to whoever you're gonna send it to. That's emailing a whole gallery of photos. What if you just wanted to send somebody one photo? Well, you'll simply go into your gallery, tap on the photo and open it up right here on screen. And when it loads that photo, you'll simply tap on the menu button and it will pop up a little menu here in this icon here at the bottom, it says email photo. Simply tap on that, you get that same window where you input an email address, input a message, send email photo, and you're good to go. And I also want to again remind you that the Photoshop.com online account is great in many ways, not just to be able to go in there and view and edit and share and email photos like you just saw me do, but it serves as a backup. You remember we mentioned earlier, the backups are all your photos on your phone. So you can upload those, delete the ones off your phone locally, and then you save room for more photos. So you're not just having to build up a gallery of images on your phone and then when you get to a certain point, you have to delete them because you ran out of room. You can upload them to your account, they're saved, you can share them, you can always access them, and always bring them back to your phone as well. Very good feature to have. So there's just a quick overview of all these great features with the new Photoshop.com mobile application on the new Android smartphone. I'm Corey Barker, have a nice day.